Shirley, and with me I have Phil and Brad from the band Megafon. Today we're going to show you how easy and simple it is to make seitan. And if you've ever seen it in the store and wondered how to do it, you're going to totally learn right now. Brad and Phil have questions about seitan. Well, what's seitan? <laughs> what is this? And the guy was like, oh, it's made in Japan. It's it's a scrape from the docks. Like, yeah, it's some algae. So they wrote this song, Satan, do do do, it's scrape from the docks. Satan. First thing we're gonna do is we have a bowl with our vital wheat gluten. So you just put the whole package in a bowl, and then we have a whole cast of characters here that we can add into the bowl. Nutritional yeast, which is really awesome. Um, soy flour, you can use wheat flour, you could use white flour if you wanted. Um, some garlic powder and some salt and we're just going to dump this in to the bowl. Swish it around, make sure it's all mixed in. Wash, Wash your hands, hands real quick. I think it adds flavor. <laughs> kind of like a walk. And then we're going to add in a tablespoon of oil and you can use any kind of oil you want um, and just mix that in and just kind of get it incorporated into the flour so you get little peas and just kind of mush it in. Squishing. We're going to be, be adding hot water or warm water to this. So the next thing we're going to do is make our broth. And the broth basically is water. And I have 10 cups of water in each of these pots. This is soy sauce. It's just a cup of soy sauce. And you could use Bragg's, which is amazing amino liquid stuff. You could just do water and soy sauce or water and Bragg's. Um, but we're going to put some bay leaves, two bay leaves in there. So soy garlic sauce. powder, onion powder. I'm yep, dumping dump it in. It in. This is what we're going to boil the seitan in. Like Smells adding so the broth good. in is really good because it's like, um, it adds more flavor. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. This Here you is are. a good day for me. When did you first think you wanted to learn to make seitan? You know, Chef Relay, I was actually uh, at a little diner, had myself some chicken wings and said, you know, to my people at the table, these are some of the best chicken wings I've ever had. At which point, I was informed that they were not chicken wings, they were seitan wings. And it sparked curiosity. And Brad? Uh, you know, I, I was at the same table with Phil. <laughs> right, okay. So we would mixed in <laughs> the broth. While you were gone. <laughs> and then what you're supposed to do is you take it out and you, and you twist it in on itself, like pull it back under, up and under, and just keep doing that. For those of you at it home, looks brainy. don't stop until it looks like a brain. <laughs> It is brain like. It's making brain sounds. Oh, <laughs> here's so much smoother. What am I doing? So you're like, you just want to take it and just kind of just. Oh, I just kind of pull it in. Feels so funny. Doesn't it? Know. It feels really silky and smooth and it's very organ like. Yeah. <laughs> and I just like physically, I'm like stretching it. I'm like stretch Armstrong. Remember those? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Now you're getting the texture in there. And you're supposed to do this for three to five minutes. And I guess that gets the glutens going and activated. And so then you want to take them and just like pinch them in half here and separate. There we go. Yes. All right, let's go to the stove. Sweet. And we'll turn this back up. And you're going to boil these for um, an hour. And then you'll see the magic of what happens. Okay. Oh, wow. I know. Look at that. They're, They're like, huge. It okay. keeps growing. And See how growing. big they've gotten. And Woo! So <laughs> this is my big monster thing I did yesterday, and um, so it doubled, totally doubled in size. Thanks Happy you. Thanksgiving. <laughs> so then you can see it's like nice and firm, oh wonderful texture. Mm -hmm. You can cut it into cutlets. This is tahini and Bragg's and little liquid smoke, and just. Kind of dredge it and then dredge it in the um, breadcrumbs and nutritional yeast mix. And then you can just put this on a greased baking sheet and bake it. And you could just put it on skewers and then do the same thing. Or you can put a barbecue sauce on it. Anything you would do with any other kind of, you know, meat protein, you can do with this. I mean, you just kind of treat it like chicken. Yeah. Except it's not. <laughs> can, is, can you can just be, eat it too. Try it? Yeah, yeah, All totally. Right. And it's, it's, it's already got a, a taste of its own. Like, it already it has a taste. Mm -hmm. Good. Ever since I graduated high school, it's done. I've been so <laughs>